Just tell Elliot, like, don't get discouraged, like, through time and just playing with him and knowing that he is looking to pass and do those things, you'll be able to get those catches. Mondo, you, you guys have, I think, four transfers and two freshmen. I think two, two years ago it was, like, five freshmen and no transfers. You know, is this just the way things are going to go, not just here but in college basketball, that with the portal you can get experienced talent, that this is going to be the new norm, you think? 100%. I mean, I think you're seeing it even with college football now, like, starting to balance out now, like the Alabamas and all those other schools, they're not just blowing teams out now. Everything is starting to get more competitive with just the whole transfer portal thing. And so, yeah, I definitely think this is like a new norm of what you see. Do you think it's, are, this, are we just going to get used to fewer freshmen? Like, like said, only yeah. two here. I mean, yeah, not for sure. Because, I mean, why go get a freshman when you can get somebody that's experienced and proven? And, I mean, a freshman might just transfer out of the first year anyway. Yeah. So. Instead of that same rim, though, with all the new people coming in, has it been easy to get adjusted to all, all the new people coming in? Yeah, yes and no, because, I mean, we still got to figure out what we like, what we don't like. But, I mean, I think all the guys we have have a great attitude, which will make it easier than I think most. So it's been great. What's been the dynamic with RJ and Elliot on the court at the same time? Are they going to share ball handling duties? How's that going to work? Yeah, no, nah, it's been great. And I mean, I think RJ playing with Elliot allows RJ to just focus on scoring more too, which I think is more of his strength anyway. And Elliot being able to pass the ball and also being able to knock, knock down open shots, it just opens up the floor for everybody. So I mean, I think them two together can be really good. And I mean, Elliot, he's very physical and he's strong. So I mean, I think he can guard good guards and even bigger guards too. And, and will there be more pitch aheads probably this year? Because what I understand, Elliot, is good at those outlet passes in transition. Have you yeah, seen that sure, in practice? Yeah. We've been doing a lot of that. I mean, running, that's been like our main thing. We've kind of been going back to some of the secondary break and some of those things, just having kind of a base and identity as a team. And I mean, I think Elliot has been like the perfect guy on us just hammering the whole running thing and that whole concept. Has it been a big dynamic change with players in, players out? There's been a lot of change in personalities, playing styles. Yeah. How would you describe maybe the biggest difference in that team dynamic and how you think this group should play? Yeah, I mean, I think last year we had a lot of guys that could score off the dribble. I mean, we had Caleb who could really score the ball and a high clip off the dribble. But, I mean, I think we look at the team now, RJ is really the guy that can score off the dribble. And then we got Cormac who can knock down shots. We got Elliot who can pass the ball and uh, pass and shooter. So we got guys that have more of like a defined role versus having like two lead guards that want to score the ball. It seems Cormac's come in already sort of taking on a leadership role in a sense. You describe him as being the ultimate competitor. Yeah. Do you have any specific examples of that? Yeah, I mean, all the time, even like in practice the other day, like he hit me through a hard screen and then the next play I like ran through him probably broke his ribs and then he came back and tried to hit me with another hard screen. So that just shows like he not going back down and he has that competitive fire that like I really haven't seen much since I've been here from guys. You kind of saw it when they played down here though. Yeah, I mean, like, even playing against him, like, he always had that fire. He's not scared to get dirty. And then uh, he don't really care about others' feelings, so that's great. It's been more of an emphasis on ball movement because I noticed you got this drill, 80 passes in a minute. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about how hard that is and, and what – because the ball kind of got stuck sometimes last year, and it doesn't seem like that's going to happen this year. Yeah, I mean, I think in our offense he's really been emphasizing that because we got a lot of guys that can really shoot the ball just with Cormax, Pax, and Harrison. So the more they move the ball, the more we get the defense moving. That opens up more shots for them, and I think that's what Coach really going to emphasize. And tell me about James is coming, coming off the bench to, to, to sub you. How, how's, what are your impressions of him? Yeah, I mean, James has been great, and I think he's what he needs. I mean, a guy that can block shots, sit in the short corner, catch lobs and things like that. I mean, I think he'll be great. Thanks.